care of that motor on huh? also if you live in Connecticut and you do scrap or whatever DM me on Instagram it's at Y I a T a M V N come get our scrap shit. we don't gotta do nothing and take our god wood Dude. I mean, it's a pretty big site. Like, it doesn't look that big when you're next to it. That's a deep bed. Yeah, it's big. Very nice. God, dude, the 7.3 engine is so loud. They're, they feel so slow too. Yeah, it is slow. It doesn't feel like it has any torque either. I mean, it feels the same way pulling a trailer unless it's real, real heavy. That's the one plus side. God, this thing at power. She waved thank you. <laughs> what a bitch. So we're taking a bunch of our from the shop down to dump to uh, get rid of it because it's just getting a little out of control. Like we have like the bed and all that still, so. I guess I'm just gonna pay the 40 or 80 or whatever it's the 60, I think. I think Brent told me to do it where they weigh the truck because we don't have that much weight. Oh, in yeah, yep, yep. So I'm gonna just ask them if I could do that. Yeah, yeah. Hi, um, I wanna dump some stuff. Okay, what's your name? Uh, Adam. Okay, I'll fly. I'm pretty sure you just pull in where that loader thing is. Yeah. Pop up with your. Oh, you got it. It's Adam. Okay, come on over. Dude, that's a sick golf cart. They got like mud tires on the thing. It was eighty dollars. We had point one five of a ton. Point one five of a ton? Yeah. Dude. We knew this was gonna be it's expensive. Three hundred pounds. Is that point one five of a ton? I guess. But that chick that works there, she's got a. We got the Basla. Brighten your way, baby. Wow, look at how sick that looks. I feel like I just got a brand new iPhone. Yeah, it definitely looks like a iPad mini box. We got the 9006 HB4. It's got a little pokey dot dot on it. That's what we got for the R Visor. Oh, dude, that's sick, dude. Wow. Kyle's gonna love that. Oh, yeah, we're gonna put it on the wall right there. Mm hmm. Dude, what? Is this a frog? Uh, I don't know. Is that a frog? I, I think it is. You. Look, that looks like a frog. We got a whole product manual, dude. Wow, that... I'm already looking at the cabling for those. That is looking nice. Dude, it's complete plug and play. Like, I feel, I think, so you just plug, you plug one end to the stock connector, and then you plug this into the back of the, Wow. Or you plug it right into that. Wow. Oh, I see. The, yeah. Yup. That's fancy. And then it comes with a little screw thing that you like screw it together. Weatherproof it. Yeah. That is cool stuff. Remove glass. Oh, there's like a bubble on it. See it? Yeah. 
I'm gonna leave that on for now. And the dude, oh my god, dude, there's literally wow, a fan on a the back of it. Fan on it, dude. That's like a PC fan. Wow. That is cool. Cool stuff. Dude, it's got the B for Bitcoin, dude. Ha, <laughs> yup. Even though this is sponsored. Yeah, this video has been sponsored by Basla. I hope I'm saying it right. You think I'm saying it right? Yeah, Basla, Basla. I don't know what is their country of origin. Are they German or something? I don't know, but look, they the world's first four LED, four color LED. These are all the colors that it comes. Dream this is yellow. all this bulb. Yeah. You like change the headlight and it changes from that to that. That to that, that to that. It's all for like different we weather, like just normal night, foggy night, rainy night, snowy night. Like, sick. Let's go install these bad Larrys. That's sick, dude. Look at. Wow, is that like aluminum? That actually looks high quality. Do you feel it? Like this whole thing feels really nice. Yeah. I don't remember how much these are. I want to say one nineteen. I'll have to. I'll. The link will be in the description below. Let's go f install them. Seen beanerine beanie bean. Let's get her in limbo mode, dude. These are sick. They look good right there. Our collection of piles, except this is Trevor's. Well, those look good. Oh, the Civic don't look that bad. From the front, no. The sides, right. Out with the old, in with the new, baby. They're on. Yeah. You got it? Yep. Can I shut them off? Yeah. Remove glass. Oh, so you take this whole thing off, dude? Yeah. That looks about right. I don't know if you're not allowed to touch these ones with your hands. I wouldn't. But do yeah, it. I'm yeah. not gonna. Man, you gotta love a direct replacement. I know, it's so so nice. And we have footage to compare it to from the trip to uh, Maryland. Like the the lights are horrible. Like they're borderline dangerous. Yeah, like if it if it was rain if it was like heavily raining, dead. You're not seeing anything. I haven't even seen the light work yet. I just know dude, the quality of this light yeah, looks dude, phenomenal. It has braided line. Like you don't get any better than that. Nice tight connection. Plug her in like so, dude. Hundred percent bolt-in. Yeah, it's, it's like swap. it's like OEM plus. I don't Should even I try know. it out? Yeah. Um. Nope. To be fair, we didn't read the instruction manual at all. Not a single word from it. All right, let's go inside. Read the instruction manual. So it says, plug it in without like putting it in the thing to test it first. If it doesn't work, simply disconnect the the plug reverse the positive and negative so, so like flip the plug and try it again well maybe there's a clip on both sides true true i didn't really look there is on oh, each side wow that's user error from you then sorry yeah. sorry basla 100%. yeah because i saw the plus and negative on this side so i was like yep. plug it in that way but 100 percent user error all right let's see Oh yeah, dude. That is a huge difference right away and we're in broad daylight. Yeah, I'm going to try I'm going to try the like flip it back and forth. Yeah. Hopefully it changes. Oh, yep. Yep, it's yellow. Oh, that's like yellow. Look at this. That's like JDM yellow yellow. Oh my god. And then apparently there's like a strobe. We might need new headlights too. Like actual I think we can buff those out. It's strobing. It's definitely strobing. I can't I can't wait to test this out like during the nighttime. Not yeah. the, I mean, I don't really give a f about the strobes. But I mean, when we're like trailering and like backing up and that's kind of like a good flex, like I suppose, yeah. Watch out, we're backing off. Yeah. Yep, white, greenish, straight yellow, strobe. Works as Does supposed work? to. Does it work if you like flash the headlights? Um yeah, wait. Every time you click the high beam, it changes modes. Now it's white. Now it's green. Now it's yellow. Now it's strobing. Wow. 
Wow. Do a highway test. Hopefully we won't even need the high beams anymore. No. The high beams aren't even that good either. Should we try to buff this out before we do the test? I feel like we should. And like that'll boost our results a lot. Feel it. That's outside. All right, so this is what we're working with here. Are you taking them off to do this? No, I'm gonna keep them on. Okay, cool. Is the compound and stuff in there? It's like not even compound. What? He said it works really good. That's yeah, what he does on his car. Do you hear this guy? Yeah, but this is this is common practice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, mint. Perfect fitment. So we're gonna zip tie this right there. I'm excited to test these on the highway tonight, dude. Me too. If this cleans them up like nice, dude, this thing's gonna miles, dude. We're gonna be the memes of like. It's like the meme is like, I'm glad that you can see a mile away, but I can't see shit or whatever. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like when you're in oncoming traffic with lights like that. Oh, yeah. Are they super bright? Yeah. Well, they seem, we turned them on in the middle of the day, so I'm not quite sure if that's going to, if you're going to see the true potential. So do you know what you're doing here? Because you can just open the box. Yeah, I don't think he it. read the directions, but. He told me to just put it on and get her going, dude. Straight hit with the. I think these headlights are too far gone. Mm, They're like pitted. We don't know yet. The Camry that I gave to my mom looked just like that, and I brought them to a guy that made them look literally brand new. They are pitted still, but they're clear. I'm gonna end the clip here, and then the uh, viewers will see the finished result. It looks horrible. It looks the same. I think we need actual new headlights. <laughs> Dude, I don't know. I think like, an electric buffer would take this all out. What are the, uh, Let me go ask them next door if they got a buffer. It does look a little bit better than the other one. Yeah. You only did this half, so you can actually kind of see the difference. But I don't think what you just bought right there oh, is God, the right that stuff. Is, that stuff is pretty thick. It does look clear. Yeah. Like, this looks way clearer than this one. Mm -hmm. It definitely does. I can see it on camera, too. Now, after you get them nice and spotless, you go ahead and clear uh, protective coating on it. I'm going to just say for the people that are going to say it, that this was an epic fail and that we're going to have to just go on eBay and get new housings. It's funny because they look shiny now, but they're still, I feel like if you got, if you got different polishing compound, I feel like it would actually, that kind of looks, looks good. It kind of does. Maybe because the sun came out. I don't know. Yeah, it does it's possible. Better. Maybe that stuff like eats the rest of that step one off. I don't know, dude. Definitely burnt the headlight. Yeah, let's zoom in on his uh, burnt headlight right there. I mean, I, I think after him doing that, it, it kind of did work. Because, like, dude, step back. And then look. Like, that looks way better. Yeah. I don't know it how. It actually does look yeah, better from a distance. It definitely looks better. It didn't completely fix the problem, though. No, but it doesn't look as cloudy. No, it definitely looks better. I feel like after that protective layer dries off, it's going to go right back like, to cloudy. Yeah, it's gonna, yeah, dry. I think we just have to cough up the 50 bucks or whatever and get a set of uh, housings on eBay. I watched the whole, I think it was Chris Fixit did a video like myth busting these or whatever. Or Different maybe it was Scotty like Kilmer. This. Yeah, and he's like, just buff it out. And like, I think what he did was he put some kind of buffing compound on it, buffed it, and then. Uh, sprayed it with like clear coat like rust-oleum clear coat. well nick told us to sand it down with like actually yeah yeah chris vix did sand it i think he don't quote me on this i think he used like 600 1200 and 2000 yeah, something like that nick told us to use 600 sand it wet sand it and then yeah. just spray it with a can of clear coat yeah. from autozone yeah so those the box kits are are rice dude 
I bet if your headlights aren't super far gone, that stuff works good. Yeah. But ours are super far gone. I'm literally just talking out my too. I have no clue on how to restore headlights. Oh, yep, white, greenish, yellow, strobe. Yup, dude, they're mint. How does that work? They're like four settings. Each time you flip the lights on. Or yeah, you could use you like could use high beams too to change them. I feel like shut it off. Like you turn your lights on, shut your lights off. You go inside of your house, you come back out. I feel like when you turn them back on, they're going to be white again. Like I feel like there's like yeah, a- Yeah, flipping through it really fast. What? Are they white no, I, every time? I right feel away? like they're white every time. Like, they're like, I feel like if you wait five oh, minutes, the computer inside, like, yeah, like so. Dies. If, we, if we turned them on yellow, and then went inside for the night, would they be yellow the next morning? I think they would be white. Okay, we'll have to play with those. I do like the functionality of if it's like outside, yeah. we could turn it to yellow. That's a really nice feature. It is. Cause like fog, like yeah, just different types of lights cut you, through. You stuff don't want better. white light when it's like snowing and raining, yeah. right? Yeah. Cause then all you see is the yellow. flurries. You yeah. can't see through it. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna wait till it gets dark out, and then take it for a ride and test out the lights on the highway. Route eight, where we live, there's not no lights at yeah, all. Yeah, there's no lights on the highway, so that'll probably be the best place to go at night. There's not many people on the highway, so we'll do that tonight and show you guys. So we're going down the Route 8, there's no lights on the highway. This is so much better than uh, the than, uh, stock halogens or whatever halogens that were in this. I'm gonna go ahead and switch them over to the greenish tint ones. Yeah, pretty good. Yeah. Gee, that, that is so yellow. It makes it look like they're old, but yeah. they're like really good. Like I can, I can assume like, dude, in the snow and everything like that, this is gonna cut through the snow so easy. And then this is the flashing, but the white is so the white good. Is perfect. Like this that's is the awesome. white compared to the compared to the high beams. Um that's the high beams. They're literally better than the high beams. Yeah. So overall, I would recommend these lights to anyone. They are way better than stock. For the price, you can't beat it. They're easy plug and play headlights. Like, I have no complaints with these. Yeah, I think they look fantastic. I wish we had these when we went to Maryland. Yeah, because it was rain, it was downpouring, we couldn't see anything. If we had these, dude, no issues. Look how well the lights off the reflectors. Yeah, you can see all the reflectors perfectly fine. Like, it's, it, it's just an all around good setup. All right, guys, so thanks for watching. Um, the link for the headlights will be in the description below. Go ahead and check it out. Like, comment, subscribe. Follow us on Facebook. Follow the Patreon. We love you guys.